Hey guys, Soccer from Socky Tech, and in today's video, we are going to be talking about the Autel Maxi Charger. Now, this here is a level two charger for your electric or your plug in hybrid car. Now, this particular model that I have has an in body holster. So you can see that the charging connector can go straight into the charger, but they also have a model that has a separate holster that you can attach to the side of the charger based on your needs. Personally, I like the in-body holster much better, so this is the one I decided to go with. So anyway, if you do have an electric car, let's dive in and talk about this charger and what makes it unique and special. And it is also fully Wi-Fi and Bluetooth enabled, even has an app, so we'll look at all that stuff. So first, what is a level two charger? Now, when you normally buy an electric car or a plug-in hybrid car, you get a level one charger included most of the time. A level one charger plugs into a standard outlet and charges very slow. And most people don't like that. For example, using a level one charger, a Tesla basically trickle charges, which is as low as two to three miles of range per one hour of charge. That is slow. So most people like to upgrade to a level two charger, which is gonna give you, depending on the kind of car that you have, up to seven times faster charging speed. So here's a real life example. Here's my BMW X5 45E. This is a plug-in hybrid car. When I purchased it, it came with a level one charger and it takes 22 hours to fully charge this battery from zero to 100. So I switched over to the Autel Maxi charger and now I'm able to charge from zero to 100 in seven hours. That is significantly faster. Now, again, this is a plug-in hybrid car. If you have a full electric car, it's gonna be even faster than that. Now, a level two charger also requires more power. So you're gonna have to install a NEMA 650 or a 1450 outlet. In my case, I have a NEMA 650 into which the charger just plugs right in. You can also have an electrician hardwire it directly to your electrical box if that's what you need. So the primary reason you want a level two charger is faster charging for your electric vehicle. By the way, this pipe that you see is the wiring that goes back into the electrical outlet inside the house. Again, like I said, this can be an outlet or it can be hardwired. So you can go directly from this to the pipe and down to the basement or wherever your electrical outlet is. Now I also want to let you know that if you already have an existing plug out there like I did, installing this charger takes less than eight minutes. You unbox it and using the hardware that is included you just mount it to your wall. Now take a look at mine. It is actually installed outside. So this charger has an enclosure of NEMA 4. NEMA 4 is rated for high weather resistance. So in my case, I have it outside, but if you want, you can have it inside in a garage. Doesn't matter. It's designed for the inside or the outside. And if you end up having it outside, it has protection against windblown dust and rain. Also, all the electrical components are resistant to, to water, to rain, and all that stuff. You can see mine is outside charging in the rain right now, no problem. And also very important, the usable working temperature of this product is from minus 40 Celsius all the way to 55 Celsius, which means you can use this in extreme cold, or extreme hot weather, no problem. Now you can see there's also an app that you can use to log into this charger and you get all the information inside here. This charger does have a bunch of lights over here. So that's the power light, that's the internet, that is the charging indicator, that's the Bluetooth, and that is if you're using an RFID card. It is gonna blink if you use it. If the charger is plugged into the car, as you can see, it is gonna show a light right here. If it's fully charged, it's gonna be blue light. It's not gonna blink. If it's charging the car, it's gonna be a green blinking light. So at all times, you know exactly what is going on. So normally you connect the charger to the phone via Bluetooth, and then the charger uses your phone to connect your Wi-Fi, and then they can talk back and forth with the phone, no problem. And you can get a lot of information on the app that I'm gonna show you right now. All right, so here we have the app. You can see that we have a really nice interface. Now, right now I plugged in my car to charge. It is connected to the actual charger via Wi-Fi. You can see the green dot and you can see exactly how many kilowatt hours it is charging and also how much it is actually costing me. Now, if I click on this one, I get even more details. It says charging 
uh, for how long for 34 minutes 3.7 kilowatts it only cost me 33 cents so far 34 cents right now and actually from here you can stop charging if you want it so I can tap on this and it's just gonna stop the charge and I can also start the charge from here after it is stopped okay so it's all gonna be up to me look at this the charger is in the cars charging slot so if I click on start it actually starts to charge right here so you have all this control right from the app even gives you a breakdown of how much energy you have used this month for charging and the corresponding cost now if you go to me you can actually go into the charger and you can set your own price so everybody's electric cost is a little bit different you have to look at your bill what's your rate per kilowatt hours as you can see and then you can come here and you can actually set that price yourself alrighty so you can get an accurate pricing on how much you have spent on electricity for charging your car and then you can see here we even have a firmware update tool so it says your version is up to date just keep this uh, on and the firmware for the charger is going to be updated at all times so it is completely compatible with your car all the time you can tap on vehicle add your vehicle or add multiple vehicles if you have multiple vehicles in your house so that's going to be up to you this app is loaded with features go to settings and even uh, set your distance your currency your language and all that good stuff all right now one more thing i want to let you know is this cable is a high quality thick weather resistant cable it is 25 feet so your car does not have to be right next to your uh, charger it can be a little bit farther away and also you can use the charger for two cars if the two cars are parked separately you have that 25 feet cable to get you from the charger to the car no problem so again, links to buy this charger are going to be down below. If there's any sales, the discount code is going to be down below as well. And remember, one of the biggest things with this charger is the fact that you're looking for level two charger for faster charging of your electric or plug-in hybrid car. And you can see this was the old charger that came with the car that was ultra slow. So this makes it very, very easy and convenient for me.